I want to move on to another story this week here, the TikTok story here. Now, remarkable news about the bill to ban TikTok or allow the government to make it not be controlled by the Chinese company ByteDance, I guess, in the U.S. That's passed the House of Representatives. But Donald Trump, he's been opposed to the ban, only f and o yet only despite that, only 15 Republicans voted against it. Walk us through a bit of the debate here, because I think it might be a little bit more textured than some people are saying that it's just oh, a straight TikTok ban. Well, it certainly is, and it's always going to be a lot more textured in a country that has a, a, such a powerful First Amendment and free speech rights like we have ingrained in our Constitution. But the dynamic here is fascinating to me as just a, as someone who watches politics. Donald Trump actually started the ball rolling against TikTok back in 2018, 2019, and for good reason. He was worried about the Chinese government having access to huge amounts of data on American citizens. He was also worried about the level playing field. So many of our platforms, Twitter, so Facebook, are not allowed to operate in China. So Trump was saying, why would we allow theirs to operate here? That, that's what started this. And of course, the House and the, uh, the Republicans in the House and many Democrats took it up as well, uh, as you mentioned, and it passed overwhelmingly. Only 15 Republicans voted against it. I think a total of 65 people voted against, uh, voted for it. So, as you know, there were 350 odd people who voted for this thing. You don't find that level of bipartisanship in Washington D.C. these days. But Trump came out against it just before the vote, and no one can seem to understand why, other than perhaps his visceral hatred of Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook Meta. Um, I think that some of this is just personal animosity between the former president and Mr. Zuckerberg, um, and I think that probably uh, uh, factored in here. Uh, you since heard Trump, by the way, slowly sort of uh, refining his position and saying he still believes that TikTok, you know, if it were to be a security threat, um, you know, should be banned, et cetera. So he's, he's, he's sort of uh, moderating his, uh, his position on it uh, today. But, Mick, how much of this is a, you know, a bit of a proxy for a bigger issue? Because it's not just TikTok and their surveillance, but TikTok and their ability to pump propaganda into young people oh, yeah. and, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff about gender and politics in the Middle East. And, I oh, mean, yeah. there's a debate that seems to be going on between people who think, as I do, that TikTok and these other tech giants like Meta need to be brought to heel for what often amounts to assaults on our society and our youth and our democracy. But there are those who say that the way this law was written, it would allow the president to say, oh, well, you know, TikTok, it's got too much foreign influence. Maybe we ban that. Who's right here? Uh, keep the ban. I, I don't think it's entirely accurate to call it a ban. It could be sure. okay, under certain circumstances. But I think the most likely thing is that it, it ties into what we, we call CFIUS, which is the, the investigation we do when any critical U.S. assets are being sold to folks overseas. Um, if an Australian company buys a, an important American company, um, then there'd be an investigation as to whether or not it would be in the national interest for America to allow that sale to take place. We have a long history of this. We didn't let the Soviets buy General Motors back in the 1970s if they wanted to. So we, we've had these type of protections. The, the typical remedy, James, is that you have the company, say the Chinese company, would have to divest. They'd have to find right. a buyer for TikTok and sell it to somebody else. And already today, uh, Folks, including the former Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, have announced that they're trying to put teams together to buy uh, uh, TikTok if it comes to that. 